Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 25 on basic probability. In this lecture, we will discuss one question which was asked in GTU summer 2021 exam for applied mathematics for electrical engineering subject. The question is, a bag contains 6 white and 9 black balls. 4 balls are drawn at a time. Find the probability for the first draw to give 4 white balls and for the second draw to give 4 black balls if in each of the following cases with replacement and without replacement. So here we have one bag which contains 6 white plus 9 black balls that is total 15 balls in the bag and they are drawing 4 balls one of, uh, in two trials. In first trial they are drawing 4 white 4 balls and after drawing 4, four balls they are drawing another 4 balls. So uh, here we have uh, this type of situation. We have 2 drawing 4 balls. In first draw they are drawing 4 balls and in second draw also they are drawing 4, four balls. That is first select 4 balls after selecting 4 balls again select 4 balls. So they are drawing 4 balls from the back 2 times. Now there are 2 situations First is with replacement and another is without replacement. So with replacement means first they are selecting 4 balls. After selecting those 4 balls uh, they mark that which, are, which balls are selected and they again put them into the bag before the second row. And without replacement means first they draw 4 balls and uh, they are not putting back into the bag. That is, after drawing 4 balls in first draw, they are not putting back into the bag for before the second row. So that is the situation called without replacement. So uh, we are asked to find out the probability that the first draw will give 4 white balls and second draw will give 4 black balls in both the situations with replacement and without replacement. So suppose we consider first situation with replacement then here uh, it is asked the probability that the first draw will give 4 white balls that is 4 white balls are selected in first draw and 4 black balls are selected in the second row. So before finding the required probability we have to define two events. We can define event A as 4 white balls in first draw. 4 white balls in first draw. And in second draw, we are asked to find the probability of 4 black balls. So we can define event B as 4 black balls in second row and we are considering the situation with replacement so first uh, and uh, we are asked to find the probability that for the first row to give four white balls and second row to give four black balls we are asked to find the probability that four white balls in the first row and four black balls in the second row. This event we have denoted by capital A. This event is denoted by capital B. So we are asked to find the probability of A intersection B where A is the event that four white balls in first row. B is the event that four black balls in the second row. 
so first we uh, decide what will be the probability of a if we are considering this first situation with replacement now experiment is to select four balls out of 15 balls so total number of outcomes will be 15 c4 we can select four balls out of 15 balls in 15 c4 ways event a is four white balls in the first draw and there are total six white balls so the outcomes in favor of event a are 6 c4 we can select four white balls out of six white balls in six c4 ways so this is the probability of event a which is four white balls are selected in first draw now we are considering this case one with replacement after considering four white balls in first draw we will put back them into the bag so the number of total number of balls in the bag will remain as it is that is total number of balls will be 15 for second draw also now for event b here also we are selecting four balls from the total 15 balls so here also total number of outcomes will be 15 c4 and here we are select we are interested in black balls and we are interested in the event that four black balls are selected so there are total nine black balls and we can select four out of nine in nine c4 ways so this is the probability of event b and because uh, we are putting back into the bag the balls which we select in first draw we are putting them back into the bag therefore total number of balls in the bag remains 15 for the second row also that means event b does not depend on event a events a and b are independent and if events are independent by multiplication law we know that if two events are independent then probability of their intersection is given by probability of a times probability of b so we will multiply these two and we will get the answer that uh, four white balls in first draw and four black balls in second row so this is for the first case i have written all these things systematically that we will see again now second case is without replacement so for event a probability will remain same event a is four white balls in the first draw so probability of event a will be as it is for the second case also we are selecting first we are selecting four white balls so here we are having probability of a equal to 6 c4 divided by 15 c4 that is four white balls in the first row this probability will remain same now because we are considering the case of without replacement whatever balls we will select in the first row that we are not putting back into the bag the total number of balls in the bag are 15 and we are selecting four balls so now the number will reduce to 11 so for event b there are total number of outcomes are 11 now in the bag instead of this six white and nine black balls uh, we have two white and nine black balls so here i have total number of balls in the bag are 11 because four white balls are selected in the first row and we are not putting back into the bag for the second row so for second row now total number of outcomes are 11 so for event b we have this probability first we are selecting four balls out of 11 balls so total number of outcomes are 11 c4 and we are selecting four black balls so that is that can be done in 9 c4 ways so here probability of b is affected by the probability of a so this is not 
simply probability of A. It is conditional probability of B given that this event A has affected the occurrence of event B. We are selecting 4 balls out of 15 balls and we are not putting back into the bag. Therefore, the number total number of balls in the bag reduces to 11. So, for probability of event B, number of elements in the sample space become 11. That is, number is changing. Therefore, we have conditional probability here. And in the second row, we are selecting, we are interested in 4 white, 4 black balls. So, that we can select in 9C4 ways. And here, also we have to apply multiplication law of probability but instead of this we have to write probability of b given a so this is equal to probability of a times probability of b given a and we have to multiply these two so here we are applying multiplication law of probability and we are drawing the balls in two different uh, uh, draws for in the first row, we are selecting 4 balls. In the second row also, we are selecting 4 balls. But we are selecting 4 balls at a time. We are not selecting 4 plus 4, that is 8 balls from the bag. First, we select 4 balls. And after, again, we select 4 balls. In the first case, we select 4 balls and we put them back into the bag. And then, after putting them back into the bag we select four balls so that is with replacement in another situation we select four balls and we are not putting back them into the bag so number will reduce for the second row here we have total 15 balls and we are selecting four balls and if we do not put them into the bag we have 11 possibilities for the second row so here for the first draw, total number of outcomes will be 15C4 for this experiment, drawing 4 balls out of 15. And here total number of outcomes will be 11C4, if we are considering without replacement. If we are considering with replacement, then total number of outcomes will remain same for first row as well as second row. So sometimes they ask this type of questions also. Here I have written all these things systematically. We have 6 white and 9 black balls. Total 15 balls into the bag. And uh, we are interested in the probability of 4 white balls in the first row. And 4 black balls in the second row. So we define 2 events A and B in this way. 4 balls drawn are white in first row and 4 balls drawn are black in second row. And we are asked to find out probability of A intersection B. So probability of A intersection B means 4 white balls in the first row and 4 black balls in the second row. So first we find out probabilities of A and B in both the situations. First situation is with replacement. So for with replacement, uh, we can select 4 white balls out of 6 white balls. In the first draw, we are selecting 4 balls. So total number of outcomes are 15C4 and we are interested in the 4 white balls. So outcomes in favor of that event A are 6C4. So probability of A is 6C4 divided by 15 c4 and because we are doing this uh, case 1 with replacement for second row also there will be same number of outcomes 15 c4 and in second row we are selecting 4 black balls so probability of b will be 9 c4 divided by 15 c4 this is probability of a and because we are considering with replacement a and b are independent events so first I have written probabilities of A and B and uh, clearly A and B are independent events. Therefore by multiplication law of probability, probability of A intersection B is probability of A times probability of B. And uh, if we multiply these two 
and if we perform the calculations on scientific calculator i obtain this answer probability of four white balls in the first row and four black balls in the second row is 0.0010144 the probability for the first row to give four white balls that is event a and second row to give four black balls that is event b is 0.0010144 now second situation without replacement so here probability of a will remain as it is but because we are considering this without replacement uh, number total number of balls in the bag will reduce to 11 because we are not putting back four balls which we select in first row so now for probability of uh, b we have 11 bag balls in the bag so total number of outcomes will be 11 c4 and we are interested in black balls and there are total nine black balls we are interested in four black balls so we can select four black balls out of nine black balls in nine c4 ways and here a and b are dependent event therefore we have used conditional probability of b given a and by multiplication law of probability probability of a intersection b is probability of a times probability of b given a and we multiply these two probabilities and we obtain this required probability so therefore the probability for the first draw to give four white balls that is probability of a and second row to give four black balls that is probability of b given a that is probability of b second row to give four black balls so probability of a intersection b is 0.0041958 so in this way we can apply our knowledge of multiplication law of probability and uh, independent event or dependent events to answer this type of question this is very interesting question and easy you just have to decide that in which case your events are dependent and in which case your events are independent and according to that you have to apply multiplication law of probability so i hope you are able to understand this lecture if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching